All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is an ice cube, fresh out the freezer. And we have a slice of butter, fresh out the refrigerator. Well, kind of sort of in the freezer, too, because I wanted it to be nice and stiff. And, you know, you got to display it. Ooh, look at that. All right, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is not for ice cubes, not for my feet or my sneakers, but for this little thing right here. This right here is a igloo cooler. I believe it's like a 12 can cooler or something like that. I don't remember. I got it from a local, uh, you know, store. And as you can see, I have this little thing on it. I actually cut a hole into it. And on the inside, I have a fan. And on the outside, I have a fan with a heat sink. Um, you're probably wondering, what, what is this all about? Well, this is my homemade cooler, homemade warmer. I say cooler warmer because I can actually reverse the polarity and, uh, you know, run it as a, a nice cooler. And it does, you know, get the job done. I, I'm not going to lie, it, it does keep the the food and my other, you know, things that I do store in here, such as beverages and other things. Um, it keeps it about maybe 40 to 50 degrees cooler than the outside temperature. Now, right now, like I said, I got it set on heat. And, um... I'm going to go ahead on and stick my ice cube and my butter in here. And we're going to see how long it takes for it to melt. Alright. So I'm just going to set it in there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead on and prop it up just a little bit. I'm going to use this, this cup. Or better yet, so you guys don't think it's a warm cup or nothing. I'm going to use this styrofoam um, beverage you know, insulator. So we're going to go ahead on and just, I just want to raise it up a little bit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead on and close it. And we're going to play that Jeopardy theme song. Do, 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 do. I'm actually not going to do that. But we're just going to wait a couple of seconds here. Let y'all look at my floor. Yeah. It's not dirty or nothing. You can use a wax, huh? Maybe some type of um, urethane coating, another coating or something. Well, somebody's going to sit back and troll about the floor. You know? But basically, I'm just, I'm just letting a little time fly because, like I said, I want you know my cooler to do its job for you. So that you'll see that time is actually ticking and I'm not actually switching nothing out. I'm keeping my, you know, my conversation continuous so that you'll see that I'm not, you know, playing any video tricks or nothing like this. Oh, uh, well, while we're at it, I can go on and tell you a little something about the... The contraption here. Basically, I got two Peltier coolers in there. I believe they're 92 watts each. Um, I got them on a 10 amp fuse. I could go a little higher on my fuse, but of course, you know, when you plug it into a cigarette lighter, you know, I don't want to blow anything because, you know, my max fuse rating is 10 amps. And I think my, my switch that I have on this here is also 10 amps max. So, of course, you know, I'm just trying to keep things nice and conservative, conservative, but I'm more than sure that I can actually, you know, raise the amperage up and, you know, possibly heat or make things cooler. The outside heat sink is a little bigger than the one on the inside because I want to concentrate more, you know, I guess you could say BTUs or, you know, just more heat, you know, on the inside and more, you know, cool air on, you know, on the inside. I want the heating and cooling to be a little bit more efficient versus the outside. I want the outside, well, less efficient. So I should say I want the inside heat sink to get hotter or cooler than the outside. When this is a larger one, so I know that it's going to dissipate heat more. It's going to, you know, dissipate cool air more. And that's what I'm going for right now. Without, without further ado, let's see what we got here. Oh my, let's see. We got butter melting. And we definitely have an ice cube that's turned to water. So you can imagine how hot this thing is getting. I mean, like, my hands is actually, if I touch the sidewalls, it's actually burning a little bit. Oh. And as you can see, you know, it's actually melting that butter in that ice. We're closed up a little longer, see what happens.
Like I said, I'm only five minutes in with my video. I used the um, regular duct tape, not duct tape, but like, you know, the duct tape. The silver tape, the aluminum foil tape, as you, you know, if you go to the hardware store to purchase this. And it's actually pretty good at insulating, and um, it's pretty sticky. And that's what I'm going for, and it's clean. And I'm probably going to eventually get around to probably putting silicone on it, or maybe some type of, you know, I don't know, maybe a gasket or something. You know, just to seal it up permanently, but for right now, this is kind of, you know, experimental. And so far, I like it. I might uh, add another Peltier, maybe uh, put a couple of switches on here, maybe a light on the inside, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to put this in my trunk. Okay, make a nice add-on to your car, to the truck, go camping or on trips. And one more time at the, <clears throat> at the butter and the, the ice cube on the inside. Now, that puddle's definitely gotten bigger and that butter is definitely on its way to being complete as you can see that's it's definitely melted you know, and that's cold water from the ice so you know that the butter is you know definitely taking on some heat well thanks for watching